So reading this problem, it says how many molecules of butane are contained in 2.205 moles? So always approach it by saying, all right, what are they asking me to find? And in this case, they want me to find molecules. And then what have they given me? And in this case, it's 2.205 moles. So in this chapter, they introduced, introduced us to a chemical counting unit called Avogadro's number. And Avogadro's number says there's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles, and, and it's a counting unit. So like if you had a dozen, you could have a dozen dogs, a dozen donuts, a dozen eggs. A dozen is a counting unit that means 12. So a mole means 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. In this case, we would be counting molecules. And how do I know that? Because that's what they're asking me to find. And so there's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules in one mole. So um, Avogadro's number works with molecules. The other ones we could see with it would be um, atoms or ions. Avogadro's number does not work with grams. The relationship between grams and moles is defined in the molar mass. So Avogadro's number works with molecules, atoms, or ions, really tiny things, and they tell us how many are in one mole. So that's what we need to solve this problem. So we're given 2.20 times 10 to the fifth moles, and we're going to use Avogadro's number. We will put the one mole in the denominator, so it will cancel, and the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules in the numerator. And so as we've been solving these problems consistently for the whole class, the top unit cancels with the bottom unit, and so we are left with molecules. So if we take the number of moles and multiply it by Avogadro's number, and I'm doing that in my calculator right now, Okay, two point, we'll get the number of molecules, sorry. So I'm, I'm, I'm putting in 2.20 times 10 to the fifth, and then I'm going to multiply it by 6.02 times, whoops, times 10, oh darn. Uh, I gotta put my calculator in. I'm using a different calculator, and it has slightly different buttons, and so I'm pushing the wrong ones. Here we go. You might be able to hear me. Okay. Times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. All right. And I get the answer. 1.32. Oops. I'd rather have it in my black uh, marker again. 1.3244 times 10 to the 29th, it's a big number, molecules. And since I'm given three significant figures here, I'm going to round to three, so it's 1.3 2. I'm going to drop off this 4 so the 2 will stay the same, times 10 to the 29th. And in um, the current homework, what you do is they have two boxes and you enter in the coefficient as well as the exponent. And this one is a positive exponent, so it won't have a positive or a negative sign. It's just the exponent. So a takeaway here is if you're trying to change from molecules into moles or for moles into molecules, really. So if we wanted to go from molecules or other small units like atoms or ions, and we wanted to change this 
into the unit moles, we use the relationship known as Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd uh, particle, which can be any of the small, equals 1 mole. And that's what we use to change between those two units. Specifically, like in this problem, if you're given moles and asked to find a small unit like molecules, atoms, or ions, you will multiply by Avogadro's number.